G'day gang game, Molly Danny. how you going? We're back in the Neverwinter. I think Bruce is asleep. Hey Bruce. Was he? Bruce. Hey, he's back. <laughs> okay, Bruce. Now, so before we do anything, let's go over here. Invoke. All done. Let's have a chat to Jasper Steele. Don't pity the Durgar. Sure, they're slaves, but even free, they're filled with hate. According to the Durgar we've interrogated, the Mind Flayer leading this illicit incursion is known as Revered Flora. He's hunting for an upper vault where the Flayers think there's some lost god. Few of our prisoners know anything about the upper vaults. Apparently only one Durgar has been there in return. The Forge Master of the Wrath Forge. He's a master smith and overseer that the Flayers either trust or control completely. The Guild would like you to enter the Wrath Forge and get the secret of the upper vault from the Forge Master. Are you up to the task? I'm up to the task. Have you got the rewards? I hope so. Alright. Let's do this for honor. For glory. And honor. <laughs> Hang on a second. Sorry, I just gotta turn the sound down a little bit. Alright. Don't stop me. Keep going. Protect the masters. So we're going to the Wrath Forge. I imagine we're going into an instance. Possibly. Back through the Crucible. Oh, actually, we did. We uh, leveled up, didn't we? Oh, can I? I can actually equip two two new artifacts. Can I? Ah, I don't have any, but be nice if I did. Alright, so we do have one point to spend. So let's do that. Seek his vengeance when you strike a foe from behind. No cordon of arrows, crushing roots. Unlock number four. When you have spent enough points, you will be able you'll have unlocked the fourth rank of all powers, and you'll be able to spend points on any power to raise it to rank four and unleash its maximum potential. Can't wait for that. So that's 70 points, okay. We're getting there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, we also gotta spend over here. We've leveled that one up. Um increase the split the sky, yes. Okay, let's continue. Into the Wrath Forge. Arms dealing in the deep. It is an uncommon weapon of drow or Durgar fashion that lacks at least some magical properties, but not all these implements of war are equal. The Grey Dwarves have mastered the peculiar metallurgy of the Underdark's magical ores, and forge a superior product as a result. Now it seems the Durgar are forging weapons for the drow. The Illithid control the Durgar, but the Illithid are newcomers to the Whispering Caverns. What do the Illithid seek here, and what do they get in return from the drow? Well, hopefully we find out. You good, Bruce? Dead before they could even attempt to lay their weapons upon us. A mind flare scourge down. Split the sky is doing quite well, isn't it? 
against these level 59s. I'm starting to become that guy, aren't I? <laughs> that guy in the dungeon that just races through and kills everything before the other guy even gets a chance. That's our first lever. Two more. Oh, where they go? Were they ever there? Oh no, no! We're getting mind flayed. You're not going to infiltrate my mind. Oh, Bruce! Bruce, you take you took a hammering. So did I. Right, hopefully there's a fire beyond this. Another mind flare. Uh, I probably should take him. Take a moment to heal up. And Flair charged us. I feel like there's going to be a trap here somewhere. Stop you. Split the sky, let's do it. Good job, good job, move down. Another one there, no. Oh, it's getting the mind flares working his way. Oh, there's another one there. Don't let it infiltrate your mind. Okay, second one completely. Oh, there's something in the corner there. Let's see if we can avoid all that. Mind flare at the back. Got him. Don't want to give those mind flares a chance. Let's go. Uh, Forge Master's just ahead of us. What a piece of work this guy is. Oh my goodness, yikes! Check for that heroic leap of his. Alright, he's down. 
We good? We good? Oh, we got a purple. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> we got a purple, but it's not for my class. Mask of the Forge Master. Great weapon fighter. Oh, I can give that to another character, I guess. The Armor of Vigilance. Plus 7 AC, 243 defense, 733 regeneration. But look at my other item there. Hey, is it really recommended? Item level's higher, but still. Got 310 recovery, I got 206, but I got 434 deflection as well. I did pop something in there though. Oh well, I'll just leave it as is for now. Return back to Jasper Spiel and let him know that the deed is done and the day is ours. Don't pity the doer god. The path is through the Iron Heart, eh? I think I know what that means. The Forge Master spoke of the Iron Heart. I have a feeling I know what that's all about. There seems to be some sort of portal in the Crucible. Our guild wizard, Soren Rivaris, and a few companions are investigating it as we speak. My guess is the portal leads to the upper vault. If Soren has found a way through, then it might be open to you as well. The portal lies just beyond the bridge that spans the Crucible. Make your way through it, find Soren, and see what he's learned. Into the Iron Heart. heart. Well, if you can catch me. Right, back into the crucible. I'm going up high now. What's with the sword in the stone? Into the Iron Heart complete. What in the heck is this? Okay. Felt like Inception there for a second. <laughs> I'm not Inception. Interstellar. The alien landscape of the upper vaults mirrors the inhuman minds of its inhabitants. Strange crystals pulse with violent emotion. Empathetically. Empathically. Corrupting any cre thinking creature nearby. Distances and dimensions seem to swell and contract as though the physical world wars with some alternate conception of reality. The Illithid sought the place out, mentally dominating their slaves and psychically interrogating prisoners to gain access, yet the Mind Flayers already seem so at home here. I hope you have a strong grip on your sanity, friend, for you've entered a place unlike any other. So you found your way here as well. It's good to know the portal is still open. Welcome to a place like no other in the realms. 
if indeed we still are in the realms. We've done some investigating, but have not gone far because of the many perils we found in our path. One thing is clear, the Mind Flayers have come here for a reason, and I very much doubt it'll benefit us to allow that mission to succeed. We've seen that these creatures can control others with the power of their minds. This is how they force the Duragar to do their bidding. The same could easily happen to any of us. It would be wise for you to eliminate some of the Mind Flayer masterminds that ensnare their many thralls. It's apparent the Illithids rely more on psionics, the power of the mind, than on magic. In our exploration, we encountered strange Illithid-made stones that affected our emotional state. We felt fear, pain, and overwhelming despair in their presence. We need to find some defense against the power of these stones. I've inscribed several mind blank spells upon this scroll. Although the spell is intended to prevent others from reading your mind, I suspect it may also have the power to neutralize the resonance stones. Please locate a few of the stones and give it a try. Gosh. Strange sounds in here. I became an Underdark Guide to see new things, but I never imagined anything like this. Ugh, those Mind Flayers gave me a serious case of the creeps. They're like someone walking around with an octopus on their head. An octopus that wants to eat your brain. And the regular kind are nothing compared to the extra awful sort they call Thune Hulks. Those creatures make the regular Mind Flayers seem darn right cuddly. Aside from being hard on the eyes, I'm pretty sure I don't want to face a Thune Hulk in a fight either. You're the hired muscle around here. Why don't you get rid of some Thune Hulks for us? Yeah, why, why don't I do it? Of course. First I shall invoke. And have received the power to do such a thing. Talk to Horst. I'm gonna make some sales. Uh, I don't know what I should do with this. Maybe I should identify and then sell it. Or at the very least, convert it. Maybe it's worth quite a bit to convert. Oh, let's ride. Into the sept. Oh, there we go. Thune Hulk. Oh, no. Getting sucked in. Sucked into the vortex of pain. Those infiltrators are fast, like a rogue class. Rogue class with like warlock abilities. One more stone. Yeah. 
Thrall keep is down. All right, we're done here. Let's go. You really took down a Thun Hulk? Whew, I'm impressed. You know, I think the best part of being an Underdark Guide is leading adventurers to monsters and letting them kill the awful things while I watch from a safe distance. That was well done. The fewer Illithid masterminds, the smaller the chance we ourselves will fall under the control of these aberrations. So the Mind Blank spell did block the effects of the Resonant Stones. Your efforts have proven a theory that may be the key to devising an effective defense against these mind weapons. Someday, all who venture into the Underdark may benefit from the work you've done here. <laughs>